Hey, how's it going YouTube? Today I'll be working on this Nintendo Switch Pro Remote. So this is actually my son's and he's been complaining that there's drift issues on the left thumbstick. Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and do a full repair on it because I don't have the actual component, but we're gonna go ahead and see if we can just simply clean this out and maybe repair it. But I, I figured this might make a good video to just kind of record in the case that somebody else is having those issues. So here I'm gonna actually show you how to go to the system settings. So on the controllers, you can check for the calibration just to verify that everything is working once we do the clean. So there is this option under controllers and sensors to calibrate the control stick. So we just select that. And then now it's asking which joystick you wanna to try to calibrate. So on the actual remote, I'm just gonna move to the left and just hit A. And you can see there that we get some pretty bad drift on it. So um, when I was testing this, I did notice that it seems to be triggered whenever I hit up and then it just slides down afterwards. But it looks like it's gotten worse because like once I hit down, it centers. But it's only when I hit up for the most part that it starts, you know, going back down. So let's go ahead and open this up and then see if we can go ahead and fix this. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I'm actually using a size zero Phillips and this is to remove these two screws to remove these grips. Once you remove the screws, you just simply pull these out. Next, you're gonna to wanna to remove four screws. These are these two and then these two over here. So once the four screws have been removed, you can simply remove this casing. This is just the housing for the back part. And so there you go. Next, let's remove the battery. And there should be a little latch here that you can pull from. Once the battery has been removed, we're gonna to wanna to remove five screws that are remaining. And this is one here, the two outside ones right here, and then these two that are located up top. Now that all the screws have been removed, we're gonna to wanna to separate the front from the back. Just be careful in doing so as there's a ribbon cable connecting the two. In the case that you want a little bit easier access to the actual joystick so that this thing's not in the way, um, you can simply remove this ribbon cable by lifting this latch here and then safely removing the, the ribbon cable. In my case, I'm actually just gonna leave it attached since I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this section. I'm not actually desoldering anything here as I don't have the part anyway. Uh, but in the case that I was gonna desolder this, then I would have to take this ribbon cable uh, out just so I can detach it and free up the board a little bit. So. Let's go ahead and just clean this up. So let's start by removing this joystick. All right, so you can see now that it's open that it has a little bit of dirt and stuff in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and clean this first with some, uh, actually I'll hit it first with some compressed air and then I'll clean around the section here with some IPA. That way we can go ahead and just start uh, cleaning the inside of this. I don't want any of this additional debris to go inside. So let's do that. So here I was just trying to demonstrate that a lot of that dirt and grime gets collected within inside here and it causes that poor contact to get created. I'm going to go ahead and just simply use some contact cleaner to uh, spray it on a surface level around the area to see if it kind of gets rid of some of that gunk. Uh, normally I don't open this, I just kind of leave it closed and then spray it and if that fixes it then that's good enough for us. Um, Normally, I don't advise people to open this unless they know what they're doing. So if you're new, try not to do this because you do risk breaking this. And if you do, uh, then this joystick, you can render it useless as you'll have to replace the entire joystick. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that now on here just to quickly spray it. And then we'll go ahead and put it back together and test it and see if everything's working. So now I'm going to put the joystick back and then test everything. All right, now let's go ahead and test this out. Everything seems good. 
So that looks like it did the trick. I just simply use contact cleaner. And in case you're wondering, I just use this WD-40 contact cleaner. I've used it in the past for my PS4 remotes and I fixed a bunch of them in the past. So it seems pretty reasonable. If I don't use that, I normally use IPA if it's just lying around and it seems to do the trick. I'm gonna go ahead and first clean out some of the pieces here, mainly just the joysticks and the buttons. And then I'll go ahead and reassemble this. Now let's go ahead and put the five screws. So now that the five screws are put back together, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you put the battery back and make sure that the contacts go in first, facing this way. Now we simply put back the four little silver screws that it had. And the last thing you wanna do is put these last two screws in. So let's go ahead and test this one last time to see if everything's working. And everything seems to be working. All right, so I think this is repaired. So if you liked today's video, please be sure to leave a like. If you saw something or spotted some things that I did wrong, please leave a comment below and I'll look at the feedback so I can improve on future videos so that I don't make those mistakes. Um, I'm just doing this as a hobby. I'm not a professional by any means, but I definitely enjoy doing this and I'm always looking for ways to improve and get better. And as always, I wanna thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all next time.